In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give light to your Church by the example and teaching of the bishops St. Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father. But whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you received from him remains in you so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But this anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false. Just as it taught you, remain in him. And now, children, remain in him, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be put to shame by him at his coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What then are you? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. They said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? 
he said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were sent also. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one coming to you whom you will not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we celebrate the memory of Saints Basil the Great and Gregory Nazianzen, both bishops and doctors of the Church in the fourth century. They were close friends, living a close friendship until death. They shared the lives of hermits and cultivated the philosophy and theology in the years of the Christological disputes. St. Gregory, recounting the origins of their mutual friendship, writes, I kept my great friend Basil's company, not only by reverence, but also because I realized the strength of his character and the opportunity of his words. This was the beginning of our friendship. From this sprang the spark of our communion. We were one thing and watched over the same things. The hope that leads us was one. What was it that they watched over? What was the hope that they kept, that they kept always in mind? The answer is Jesus Christ, as he is the master and the guide. In the name of Christ, they find their union. Our big name consisted of the fact that we are Christian, and so we are called. With faith in God's goodness, we now turn to him with these our prayers, that we may treasure in our minds and hearts the wisdom that comes from the Lord. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer that we may recognize the richness of God's wisdom and share it with others. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord enlightened Saints Basil the Great and Gregory Nazianzen with his heavenly truth. May he enlighten all those who are in darkness and doubt. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people of our church, that they may truly discern God's call to them and be open to service in the church. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Ligaya Duran Madla, requested by Veronica Domingo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parishioners who are confined to their homes or nursing facilities, for those who are sick, and for those who care for them, for those prayer requests made through our parish website, and for all those intentions we now offer in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers and answer them according to your holy will, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed, 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory, a means to our eternal salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful and strength and with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.